Hey guys, today's video is on the top five longest trucks. Number five, Sin City Hustler. Monster trucks are undoubtedly the coolest type of truck, but one couple in Las Vegas managed to take the extreme to a whole new level. They designed the $1 million Sin City Hustler, which is an incredible 32 feet long, making it by far the longest monster truck in the world. It's 12 feet tall, weighs 15,000 pounds, and has room inside for 12 passengers. Constructed by hand, it took more than 15 months to complete, but this effort was worth it. They built it using parts from racing vehicles, and even with its 66-inch custom wheels, the 750 brake horsepower John Cassie engine allows it to reach impressive speeds. It's obviously not street legal, but it is a popular attraction for party groups to hire, where they're taken through the canyons and hills of White Hills, about 45 minutes outside of the city, after which it's named. Number 4. The 16-Wheel Kitchen Any city you visit in the world has a variety of food trucks offering up cuisine on the go. But what if one truck just isn't enough? An entrepreneur in India came up with the perfect solution and created the world's longest food truck called the Kitchen on 16 Wheels. It's essentially a flatbed truck with a shipping container that contains all of the cooking equipment. There are six independent food stalls inside, each of which has their own full-time expert chef and include a waffle house, a fries and cones outlet, and a few more gourmet options. In all, it's 50 feet long and moves to locations in Hyderabad, the capital city of the country state of Telangana. With so many choices in one place, no longer will you face the dilemma of deciding which stall most of your group wants to go to. Everyone will be able to get what they want, and hopefully, designs like this will come to a street near you. Number 3. E-Dumper Electric vehicles are becoming all the more common, but the technology still isn't powerful or efficient enough for truck manufacturers to fully embrace. But that's all about to change. Tesla has announced its own truck, but it's the Swiss-made E-Dumper that currently holds the record for being the longest and biggest electric truck in the world. It's 30 feet long, 14 feet wide, and 14 feet tall, and began life being powered by a six-cylinder turbo diesel engine. This has now been removed and replaced with a 9,000-pound, 600-kilowatt-hour lithium-ion battery, which is six times that maximum size currently on offer from Tesla. The amazing thing about this truck is that its range is virtually infinite. This isn't because of any new designs in battery technology, but because of the way that it's installed with regenerative braking technology. Where it's used, the 45-ton vehicle drives up a 13% incline hill to pick up 65 tons of lime and marl to take it to the local cement factory. As it descends the hill, the braking system generates enough energy for it to go back up the hill again once it has deposited its cargo. The creators estimate the adaptations save more than 50,000 tons of diesel every year, and so could have a major impact on emissions if it were to be used elsewhere. Number 2. The Crawler Transporter During the height of the space race in the 1960s, NASA developed the Saturn V, the largest and most powerful rocket ever to have been designed. But in the operation of these monstrous vehicles, equally large support structures were required. In 1965, they constructed two crawler transporters to move the rockets from the vehicle assembly building to one of two launch sites about three or four miles away, and they remained in use for decades, becoming a familiar sight in the buildup to space shuttle launches between 1981 and 2011. Built to carry huge structures, these transporters became some of the most powerful in the world. Each one was built with four trucks, one on each corner. Each truck has four 375 horsepower locomotive traction motors, which are powered by both diesel engines and DC generators. In total, the entire structure is 131 feet long, 114 feet wide, and weighs a massive 3,150 tons. All this power and size means that they are able to carry huge loads and would be more than double in weight when carrying a space shuttle. With all these impressive numbers, the crawler transporter's speed is a little less exciting. Without any cargo, their top speed is about 2 miles per hour, and when they are carrying equipment to launch, this reduces to around 1 mile per hour. Throughout the 3 or 4 hour journey to its destination, it burns 165 gallons of diesel per mile, which only goes to show quite how large and heavy the vehicles used to travel to space are. 
The intention is for each of the crawlers to stay in service for a long period of time, so they have been undergoing a series of refits to be ready for the future needs of space launches. This includes adding a new AC power generator to increase the available power from 750 kilowatts to 1500 kilowatts, and upgrading all the hydraulics, fuel tanks, and other systems. This should make them much more reliable and able to handle whatever shape and size of rockets are required for the exploration of our solar system in the next few decades. Number one, Australian road trains. In Australia, the long distances that have to be covered, along with the low number of road users in some area, have led to something that you won't see on a similar scale anywhere else on Earth, road trains. These trucks can be made up of multiple trailers attached to a single engine at the front, and in some cases, they can be huge. The record for the longest was set in February of 2006 in southern Queensland. With thousands of spectators looking on, this road train consisted of 112 trailers and was a total length of just under a mile, while the 1,300-ton train only managed to move about a distance of 328 feet. It showed quite how extreme these model convoys can be. It was pulled by a tri-drive Mack Titan, which is a model of truck designed specifically to transport huge loads. Usually, road trains are much shorter, with around three or four trailers being attached, but this is still much longer than anything used on the roads elsewhere. It's legal on Australian roads to have loads up to 200 tons, and they can travel at speeds of up to 62 miles per hour. As well as being a focus for record-breaking attempts, they are a more efficient way of transporting materials and cargoes across vast distances and have been credited for the economic development of the remote areas. They are often used to carry livestock, fuel, mineral ores, and general freight, and some communities in the Australian outback are completely reliant on them for their supplies. Road trains are somewhat of a tourist attraction, especially near Darwin which is the only city in the world where trucks with four trailers are allowed within a mile of the central business district. And there's nothing quite like trying to overtake one on a dusty outback road. When the trailers have been emptied at their destinations, things get even crazier because then they can be stacked as many as three high to allow a single cab to move a large number of them to where they'll next be needed. Honorable Mentions. Bell AZ-75710 In 2013, Bell AZ, a state-owned company in Belarus, revealed the Bell AZ-75710, the largest dump truck in the world. This huge machine is 68 feet long, 27 feet high, and 32 feet wide. It has two 65-liter, 16-cylinder engines that produce 2,300 horsepower each and a peak torque of 13,739 pounds per foot which makes it more than 24 times as powerful as a Formula One car and able to carry loads of up to 450 tons. These weights mean that a range of new technology has to be designed, such as the transmission that handles the power, and it's fitted with eight tubeless pneumatic tires that are so big that if you stood next to one, you wouldn't even reach halfway. All of this comes at a price though. The vehicle itself costs $6 million and it burns 13 liters of fuel per kilometer. Luckily, the designers have thought about this and given the option to use only one of the engines when not carrying cargo, so that'll save on some of the operating costs. Mars Truck With our aims of exploring and colonizing worlds other than our own, designers have begun to plan the types of vehicles that we might come to rely on for transport and construction on faraway planets. As far as their preparations for imminent voyage to Mars, NASA revealed their Mars rover in 2017, which looks futuristic enough to be in a sci-fi movie. The truck is electrically powered and fitted with solar panels to recharge. It's made from carbon fiber and aluminum, and the chassis is 28 feet long and 13 feet wide. It's big enough to carry four passengers and comes complete with a detachable laboratory that can be left at sites of interest. It's been specifically designed to traverse rocky terrain of Mars and should be able to comfortably move about 15 miles per hour. If astronauts come across open flats while they're exploring the red planet, though, they could open up the rover's full capability and reach speeds of up to 70 miles per hour.
I hope you all enjoyed today's video narrated by Zach this time. Be sure to subscribe for more and check out some of our recent uploads.